That's right, baby. J Rock is here. And J Rock is here to react to when Michael Jordan got revenge for what Alonzo Mourning did to his teammate, his boy, Scotty P. And the Miami Heat had to go down. Oh, come on back and let's check this game out. If you smile. What J Rock is cooking. Finally, J-Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in, 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 in with the millions? <laughs> millions of J-Rock's fans from all over the world. You're right here, right here with J-Rock in the SmackDown Hotel. And I want to give a shout out to one of the millions of J-Rock's fans. He didn't have no picture on his profile. His name was Travis Travis. So nice, I had to say it twice. Travis Travis recommended and asked J-Rock to react to Michael Jordan's revenge game for Scottie Pippen. And J-Rock is more than happy to oblige because we know that MJ was a bad man. The greatest of all time. LeBron doesn't come close. Sorry, he just doesn't. But that's a different argument for a different day. What we're here to watch right now it's Michael Jordan get revenge for Scottie Pippen. Come on, let's check this thing out, shall we? Travis Travis, appreciate your brother. Thank you for sending this to me. Let's do this. It was supposed to be Miami's last stand, but what we witnessed was unimaginable. 14 shots, 14 misses by a frustrated Michael Jordan. But only he believed, as long as there was time, there was a chance for vindication. And the game's greatest player took it upon himself. A 20-point fourth quarter explosion brought the Bulls within striking distance and the fire back in Michael's eyes. But the effort fell short. Miami backed up their bold guarantee, sending Jordan and the Bulls back to Chicago. And now, Michael says it's personal. They tried to take our manhood, they beat us up, they pounded on us. Pete aren't going away without a fight. Alonzo Morgan was doing a lot of talking the entire series. And when he elbowed Scotty and Scotty got that bump on his head, I think Michael yeah, ooh, kind of yeah, took it personally. And I think that set Michael off. So when he came back into practice after that weekend on Tuesday, he said, guys, this was a personal test. When we come out there today, I want this game to be a grudge match. It's personal, man. It's been safe. You got to go out and play with a lot of intensity, a lot of heart. It's good. All right, thanks, Mom. I talked to Michael Jordan about the loss on Monday. He said some good things happened to that. He said the bad things were we got beaten and we got beaten up. And our pride took a hit. He said, but what that did is that brought our whole team together as a group and really improved our focus. He said even championship teams need a wake-up call. And he said that was there. Now, Michael has been saying all week that this series is personal. If you watch here as the two captains meet in the middle of court, I guess you'll see that this is what Michael meant by it's all personal. Watch Michael. And by the way, another thing, Mar, Michael, after practice today, when I played golf, shouldn't affect your day. Say no, brother. Off down, uh -uh. three, and come back. You to elbow force. my boy. A seventh game, right. 1951. Ain't time to shake hands. Time to whoop ass. And, the and let them smack down. And Jordan says, I'm gonna start like this. Just to let you know, Michael the GOAT is here. Michael a signature on that one. Well, the other Jordan gets a dunk. Tipped by Pippen, stolen by Harper, setting Jordan on the breakaway, and Hardaway had a notion, but pulled back. Yeah, he made a good business decision right there. Jordan off the head fake. Ah, give me Tips the balls at 8-0 lead. And it's not, well, as slow and as a... Lethargic as Michael looked in the first half of game four, he is that much quicker. Everything Michael is this doing back so far, very quick, very sharp, mistaken. all of his move as he is so focused into this game. Look, Longley said uh, the other day, the great thing about a bad shooting day for Michael Jordan is he always has the next day. Minutes and the energy level, we talked about this during the game, seemed to pick up in the second half, which, which is incredible because 
it, it looked like the legs were a problem, but he said, no, he's just missing missing his shots. He was missing badly in the early go. Oh, Jordan going behind the back. Jordan Come on, MJ. Give me that. Get up, now. Get up. Come on, now. Let's go. Mark Morning inside, and he can't mess around with the ball. He's got to look for a quick scoring opportunity. When double, give the ball. Uh, here, take this. In your eye. Oh, so well with that. Yeah. Looking on target right from the opening tip. They're looking tentative, as they did during game three in Miami. Michael Come on, Robin, get up there. After Dennis Robin keeps it alive, and that's what Dennis Robin can do for you. Get to the rebounds, get to the loose ball. Sean Michael Lennon, Jordan, brother. so sharp, so quick, making wrong so place, Sean wrong time, wrong guy. Out the defensive end. 14 to 2. And I would have been there, didn't you? And one stretch, they led 16 to 2. Get up there, MJ. On the wing, and Bashan Leonard trying to, to not deny him the basketball. And this is a oh, look long at backdoor alley oop pass uh -uh. from Ron Harper. Left the back door Leonard open, so I snuck in there. By not of the Miami 15. Jordan had lots of room to operate. And he may play it all in game four. Happy uh, getting the time with Graham. Graham. At the moment, three pointer by Jordan. Well, Michael he Jordan keeps green, moving and right. moving within the offense, not getting on the pick and roll, but then cutting quickly across the lane and getting hard away on his back and going high in the air and then stepping back on the nice screen from Jason Caffey to launch one from the perimeter. Now, a couple of the first quarter, we saw the best execution by the Chicago Bulls. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. The worm, he was just randomly chunk up three. Come on now. The extension. Bushler with the foul. Nice give and go right there. Fouls through to 83% during the season. Uh -uh, turnover. Somebody's cookies about to get out. All right there, giving him cookies. I saw that coming. Steve Kerr, Tram, Tram! ...to set it back to a sixth game on Friday night. Come here, come here, Steve. Come here, Steve. Come here, Steve. Tram, Tram, again. He's going to leave him off. He ain't going to miss twice now. He'll miss one. He ain't going to miss two. Good coach able to find Jordan. Of all people, you let get the ball. Let anybody else shoot but him. Second shot to end... Let him. Hey, as cold as Michael has Anybody been else in this it. second quarter, still going to take that shot. Fade he don't away. care. He's going to shoot that time. The game has to go to the offensive board. Try to make it That's there. part of the game, baby. Jordan with the step. Oh, he adjusted on the shot while in midair. Also, penetration. Even if it's only half penetration like this, coming to the quick stop, getting up Come in on. the air. Get up, MJ. And just that little bump below the waist by Sean Lennon. Michael Rucker. Dennis Robin. Robin picked up that fourth. Jordan able to find the range. Look out, here they go. But this time, Robin being very careful. Push the shot. Ah. Look at Luke Longley. Luke Longley. Luke Longley. Nine points and a technical foul. <laughs> Keep that. Keep that. A good job of knocking this ball loose to Luke Longley for that dunk, and then talking and the clapping. And I'd be well, when Miami pushed, to Dan Marley took a shot in the mouth. Oh, beautiful pass. So Michael Jordan's Dan Marley got hit that in the mouth. That was a reputation test right there. Just stopped the feeling about it, but Randy Brown is called for his first ah. beautiful pass. As you mentioned, uh, Michael Jordan, since the first quarter, is now 3 of 14 from the field. Get up, MJ. Michael Jordan. Putting out a little hopper. Shot clock. Down to three. Put him up there. Oh, that wasn't Other four players having trouble creating anything. It always seems to be Michael Jordan winding up with the basketball with the shot clock winding down, as it appeared. He oh, had Pat, something to say to Pat Riley. Uh, 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 Pat. Back and 
I'm probably getting don't a say nothing that man. What Mike, whatever it was, Michael Jordan said. It don't take but look. It don't take yeah, much. He, go. he already gone. He already ticked off. Contributions to help. What happened Michael in game Jordan four? Was once again, struggling with his shot. Chicago Bulls defeat the Miami Heat 100 to 87. They win the series at five. They advance to the NBA Finals. Let's go to Bob with Michael Jordan. All right, thanks, Mark. Michael, one of the things that you talked about having oh, no, my, that was, the best Miami, seven. All right. was that loss really brought this team together and got them back man. focused. Not just the loss, but the way we lost in terms of, you know, we got beat up pretty much. And, uh, you know, they came in and you know, beat us up pretty bad. So we were back in our own home accord, and we wanted to make a stand. We didn't want to beat them up, beat them up on the basketball court, yeah. But, you know, not, not physical the way it ended up fighting. A lot of people didn't really understand what you were talking about when you said this is personal. What did you mean? I mean, in terms of our intensity as a game, you know, we got to stand down defensively, offensively, do all the things necessary, things we needed to win. It wasn't to go out there and try to fight or throw elbows or whatever. We just weren't going to let them come in and push us around. No more knots on our heads, none of that stuff. We wanted to come out and play hard. What about the yeah, fans? That was a big uh, thought about that, Utah yeah. or Houston? Um, well, we got back to the finals, but it's not just to get back. You know, against Utah or Houston, you know, either one of those teams, you know, veteran ball club, they know how to play the game mentally as well as physically. So we have to get ourselves ready and healthy and get ready for a battle. And, you know, we start here at home for two wins, and then we got to go out there for two wins. Eastern Conference champion. Is it sort of anticlimactic winning it? Well, it's good to be Eastern Conference champions, but... You no, know, to come up short doesn't really mean nothing. You know, we want to get all the way to the ring and Thank you. You know, make it five, you know, go on from there. All right, between me and you, how many uh, old you play yesterday? A lot. <laughs> I know I'm going to play tomorrow, a lot. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Back to you, Mom. All right, thank you. I mean, it was personal. You know, they, they, they can't come in our house and do the same thing they did to us in Miami from a basketball sense. You know, and if that meant from a physical sense, then we have to stand up and be accounted for it. You know what I mean? It's the same thing when Detroit used to do the same thing to us. You know, come in and beat us up. At some point in time, it became personal where we had to stand up on our own two feet and, and, and fight the bully from a basketball sense, not from a physical sense. We know what you mean, MJ, but some folks want to try to take stuff out of contact and pretend like they ain't know what you're saying. But, uh... Yeah, Alonzo Morning. he hit Scottie Pippen with the most electrifying move in all of sports and entertainment, the people's elbow, and he left a knot on his head. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, that's just classic MJ, you know what I'm saying? Like, another one of the reasons to me that he's the greatest player ever, and to me, it ain't even close. Uh, I mean, if you want to say Kareem in there, okay. Kobe, all right. Um... That's, I mean, maybe Magic, Bird, that, that's fine. LeBron, no. LeBron's a great player, but in order to be great, uh, you, you got to win more than you lose. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, the LeBron fans or the 3-6 Mafia, what have you believe, getting to the finals is almost as good as winning or just as good. No. No. Uh, you got to win. But uh, be that as it may, um, he didn't let whether or not him making or missing shots deter him from going out there and just playing ball. Sometimes you, your shot don't fall. You right? You have off nights. Everybody has those. Uh, but you still got to figure out how to win the game because that's the important thing. Making missing shots and losing. Okay, well, what's that about? About winning. That's what it's about. That's why you play the game. That's why they keep score. There's a winner. There's a loser. All right, uh, good stats and losing does not make up for losing. You still lost, but um, they got this ten ten part docu series coming out in June. Man, I can't wait to see that. That is gonna be good. Can't wait to see that. Um, but yeah, post comments down below. Let your right know what you thought of this. If you appreciate it, enjoy J Rock's reaction. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. All right. Also. Uh, if you got a video, as you can see, if you want me to react to it, go put it on my Facebook fan page. All right? The link to it is, is in the comments section down below. Post it there. If I choose it, give you a shout-out, just like I did Travis Travis. All right? Um, also, 
um, inching closer to 100 subscribers. Once I get there, I'm going to start doing some giveaways on my channel. More to come on that. Just make sure you're a subscriber and that you're commenting on my channels, all right? On my videos, rather. Also, hit that bell so that you can be notified that it is time, oh yes, to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until we meet again. If you smell, what J-Rock is.